it was the first time actually that I enjoyed myself. And uh, before it was always like so stressful that I that I wasn't able to pull to yeah enjoy myself. I was like really internally also criticizing myself and and now i was so open and i found myself completely different teacher i actually in daily life i didn't notice so i was like positively surprised about myself so thank you very much for my heart welcome to this belief code demo where we are going to do a belief code session for paula yay and if you want to know more about what the belief code is about, I'll put a link to a video somewhere here. <laughs> so you can click that link wherever it is. And that video is going to have a presentation of the belief code and a description so that you can get more into the modality in that video. But for now, we're actually going to go straight into the belief code session for Paula. <sighs> Are you ready? Do I need tissues? Uh, probably. Okay. I, mean, I brought something. <laughs> you brought tissues. Okay. okay, good. So, Paula, um, what would you like to work better? What is it in your life that you want to do a session about? I would like to be able to uh, overcome my astrological settings okay. <laughs> and to manifest faster. Okay. Because I don't know if it's just a belief or... The, and, and believe that astrologers planted in me, or maybe it comes together also with procrastination. But they told me I have the Mars and Pisces, and it takes me always a long time until I manifest things between okay. the initial idea and putting it like creating, actually producing. And I would okay. like to shorten it. Okay. So you want to manifest faster and you want to remove anything that's blocking you from manifesting that. So whether that's from astrologers, from any other sources really, yes. who have programmed you into thinking manifestation needs to take time. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's a good goal. Mm, let's first close our eyes for a minute and um, invite in our helpers. So you can invite in whoever you want to help you, and I'll do the same. We're setting the intention that this session will be efficient and effective and that it will create the most possible change for you, the most positive possible change for you that we can, that we will be effective and that we will still hold space for work whatever needs to be said, heard, witnessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. it is. Thank you. <laughs> okay. In order to muscle test on your behalf, mm -hmm. I would like to do it on my own body because it's so much mm -hmm. muscle testing. So can I connect to you so I can muscle test? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. My name is Greta, my name is Paula. Can you say the word yes? Yes. And the word no? No. Okay, awesome. We have a connection. Now, do you have a belief system connected to the issue that we just discussed? And can we release it today? Yes. What type of belief system is this? Is this the basic belief system? Okay, cool. What is the first negative program in this belief system? Is it on the left, right, one, two? So we're in love category. That's connected to the heart chakra. Partner. I will never be able to make my partner happy. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a belief I shouldn't have. I agree. <laughs> Do you think uh, it makes sense? Like when you think about what's happened in your life, does it make sense? That yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. Ready to move on to the next one? Yes. Okay. Do you have another negative program in this belief system? Yes. So it's in the passion category, financial. It's always related. Yes. 
all in the root chakra. I just don't get paid enough. I should pay myself more. Yeah. Okay. Because I pay myself. Passion, financial. I just don't get paid enough. So because this is the truth to your system, your system is going to do whatever it can to make sure that that's true. I remember very well when I was still employed. Yeah. I felt never, I'm never paid mm. enough. Mm. Yeah. So it makes For sense. For my skills and talents. Yes. And less than the men also. Mm -hmm. So if ever colleagues of, former colleagues of mine watching that, <laughs> <laughs> you should get paid more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if there is another one. Do you have another negative program in this belief system? Power. That's sacral chakra. No, not sacral. That's um, solar plexus chakra. Growth. Power, growth. And let's see what the belief is. I can't progress. <clears throat> if this is not self-sabotaging. Yeah, then I don't know what is. <laughs> okay, so do you have another limit? No, do you have another negative program in this belief system? Yes. Passion. Choices. I always choose what is safe and familiar. Does that make Sound sense? Sound familiar. It does? Mm. Okay. Even Maybe though, not always, no. but if I choose something else, it, it causes a lot of inner stress. Mm. I have to overcome Okay. like a barrier and yeah. Yeah, okay. And it's a it's a route for procrastination also this fear. Yeah? yeah. 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 Do you have another negative program in this belief system? No. Do you have a limiting belief in this belief system? Yes. And it's in the passion category. Financial. I hate money. Still. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> well, when when we're um, so the negative programs are like the canopy of the belief tree. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving down into the um, trunk, so and also deeper down into the subconscious mind. So consciously, you don't think this, but like deeper down, mm -hmm. it's still in there. Okay, do you have another limiting belief in this belief system? No. Thank it. God. So now we're going to check if you, there's something in the roots. Do you have a faulty core belief in this belief system? Yes. Passion. Sexuality. Mm -hmm. I'm really revealing my secrets here to you. <laughs> yes. Anyway, most... Uh, Sex therapists, they have issues also with, mm. with the sexuality. That's mm. why we became sex therapists. Mm. Faulty core belief. Uh, the category is passion. The subcategory is sexuality. Now we're going to find the belief. So is it... Two, three, four. I need to repress sexual feelings and desires. Repress? Uh, hold back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a faulty core identity in this belief system? Yes. And that's the soil. Mm. Passion. Sexuality again. I am overwhelmed by sex. What? But for me it's very interesting how like everything mm -hmm. like is rooted also in our sexuality. Your 
belief tree <clears throat> looks something like this. In the soil, like at the, um, at the bottom of everything, mm -hmm. is I am overwhelmed by sex. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I need to repress sexual feelings and desires. Because of that, I hate money. And because of that, I always choose what's safe and familiar, and I can't progress, and I just can't, I just don't get paid enough, and I will never be able to make my partner happy. So that's kind of how they're related. It resonates. Yeah. Because for me, sharing sexual sexuality is something really vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I don't allow myself that, to do that just with, with, just with anyone, anyone yeah. Yeah. as I did when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But there is also there's a lack like of yeah, a blocking element to it. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, and um, a lot of these beliefs were found in the passion, which is the sacral chakra, mm. which is related to sexuality and manifestation, creation, creativity. So it kind of makes sense too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sexuality and creativity are totally related. Yeah. So. Just wait for my art when I. After this. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> um, do you have any other comments you want to make or any questions before we move on to the associated imbalances? No. No. Okay. So we're going to check. Uh, we have the tree, we have the soil. Now we're going to check what is feeding this tree, what is feeding and keeping these beliefs alive. So do you have any associated imbalances with this belief system? Yes. Any emotions? Yes. Okay, so the first emotion to come up is conflict. Do we need to know any, do we need any more information? No. So because we already know it's about these beliefs, mm. we don't need any more information. Mm. So we can release it. And that's done. I'm just going to swipe three times along, mm. can you lean forward a little bit along your spine? Releasing mm. the trapped emotion of conflict. Do you want some more swipes? Yes. <laughs> There we go. Was it released? Yes. Awesome. So what she's doing is she goes through a catalog of beliefs um, and affirmations. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's testing it mm -hmm. and with the muscle testing if it's true or not. And she goes through the catalog and testing one yeah, one belief after the other, mm. one affirmation, yeah, mm. and then yeah. she writes it down. Mm. It's a really smart system. Yeah. Okay, do you have another associated um, imbalance with the system and emotion? Yes. Okay, defensiveness. Often when I say the emotion, you get the memory or the person immediately in your mind. Um. <laughs> we don't me need... defensive never <laughs> never be no <laughs> so if you're ready we can release this emotion mm -hmm. yeah releasing defensiveness and we only need to do three swipes but I will do a couple mm. extra because it's so nice <laughs> so was this emotion released yes do you have another associated imbalance with this belief system and emotion? Confusion. And yeah, we can simply release it. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Release yeah. confusion. Yes. Very helpful for manifesting. Yes. Because we want clarity. <sighs> All right. Was it released? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any other associated imbalances, any more emotions? No. So we're moving on to the body code. And is it on the left? No, right? Yes, one, two. It's a misalignment. It's a chakra that's misaligned. <gasps> the sacral. <gasps> Shocker. <laughs> Do we need to know more? No. So we're going to uh, reset and rebalance the chakra. It also says, to help rebalance this chakra, you could consider meditation focused on finding and being more open with your personal passions, 
honest self-reflection about areas of your life that might be holding you back, breath work, finding ways to express yourself creatively, creating a mantra and repeating it to yourself out loud often, clearing imbalances related to sexual health. So um, that's also possible to do, but we're going to reset and rebalance your sacral chakra. Hmm. It's the gate to the soul. The, the sacral? Mm -hmm. The second chakra. Oh. Is it reset, rebalance, happy? Yes. Okay. Do you have another associated imbalance with this belief system? Yes. Okay. I'm a mess. <laughs> well, you said I'm Not a mess. anymore. I used to be a mess. Okay. Do you She's have... fixing my mess. Do you have a post-hypnotic suggestion saying I'm a mess? So you have a negative belief of I'm a mess. Mm -hmm. And post-hypnotic mm -hmm. means that it's you didn't create it, you integrate it from outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, there's probably a reason you said it right now. So... What is PHS? Post-hypnotic suggestion. Sounds very <laughs> scientific. <laughs> I don't know if it is scientific in that way, but that's what it's called in this system. Mm -hmm. It has to do with how it was integrated. Mm. It's a lot of like a neuroscience behind this system, yeah, the code system. Well, yeah. it was created by a um, chiropractor mm -hmm. because he was seeing his patients every two weeks, correcting whatever you know was hurting them mm -hmm. but then they came back after two weeks with the same problem they were mm -hmm. happy for like a week and then it started coming back and he wanted to find out what is causing this and that's how he discovered the emotion code mm -hmm. he found that the energy of the trap negative emotions cause these issues in the body and then from that expanded to the body code and now the belief code oh, yeah. yeah so I'm not they put a lot of energy and work and thought into designing mm -hmm. the system so it's very thought through and like has yeah, everything feels in like there. It. Yeah. yeah yeah okay so uh post-hypnotic suggestion of i'm a mess is there an associating balance can we release we're going to get rid of that belief yes please yes now releasing i'm a mess mm. you don't need that anymore do you have another associated imbalance with this belief system Circuit or system, gland, female gland, mammary gland or boob, as we say in you know simple English. Right, the right boob. Do we need to know more? Is there an associated imbalance? So we're just going to reset and rebalance your right mammary gland. Or your I right don't boob. even know what the issue was. <laughs> You don't need to know. That's also the beauty of the system. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Was your memory gland reset, rebalanced, and happy? Yes. Okay. Is there any other associated imbalance? Yes. Energy. Offensive. An entity. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do Exorcism, no. Yes. Ah. <laughs> now we're going to do this just as simple as we did the rest of them. So do we need to know more? But you can actually see here all the things they can contribute to. Fatigue, physical discomfort, negativity and mood issues, addiction, feeling like something is there that doesn't belong, feeling stuck, feeling conflict or resistance, self-sabotage, anger at self, self-doubt, mental illness symptoms and nightmares. All this related to... Entities can contribute to all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying they do, but they can. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, can we release this entity? So we're simply going to release the entity. You can take a deep mm. breath. Okay, was it released? Yes. Do you have another associated imbalance with this belief system? No. Wow. Woo! So, what we're going to do, and um, this is pretty fast, we're going to release one after the other, so I'm just going to keep swiping three times or more for each belief, and that's going to release them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're releasing, I will never be able to make my partner happy. 
Releasing, I just don't get paid enough. Releasing, I can't progress. Releasing, I always choose what is safe and familiar. Releasing, I hate money. Releasing, I need to repress sexual feelings and desires. Releasing, I'm overwhelmed by sex. Okay, we're all of these mm -hmm. released. Was well, the entire belief system now released? Yeah, so we've taken the whole tree, all of it out with the roots and everything in the soil. So that's out. Now we're going to see, is there a subconscious gap? Yes. Do we need to correct this gap? Yes. So do you need a replacement belief? Yes. So we're going to find a positive belief and put that in stead. And we also find that in the belief code. So where is it? Love. Self. Positive. I know how to care for myself with love. How does that feel to you? Very good. Yeah? Do you want it to be true for you? Yes. Okay. Um, anything you want to change or are you happy just like it is? I know how to care for myself with love. I love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so let's test it first. Say it out loud. I know how to care for myself with love. No. All right, can we swipe that in? Yeah, so we're going to install that. You can say it out loud if you want. I know how to care for myself with love. Should I say it again? I know how to care for myself with love. Again. I know how to care for myself with love. Yeah. <laughs> okay, again. I know how to care for myself with love. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> so, no judgment inside me anymore. Okay. Is there a subconscious gap? Is the com con subconscious gap completely mended? Is there anything else we need to do related to this belief system? Is there anything else to do? No. Okay, cool. So we have completely removed the belief system. There was a gap. We filled that gap in with, I know how to care for myself with love. Nice. Do you have any questions or comments regarding what we just did? Um, yes. How long will it take until mm. this is like integrated in the body, yeah. in my life? Processing and integration. Because it's like things, I'm 54 now, and it's like things I've used, probably done all my life, mm -hmm. I believed all my life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. When will I be able to receive the changes in my mm -hmm. life fully? So the changes are completely done in the subconscious mind now. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend that you write down the positive on little sticky notes, maybe put them, or maybe on your, you have like a chalkboard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so maybe you can write it there, somewhere where you see it often, because uh, it's nice to remind your conscious mind of the new truth. Mm -hmm. Integration time and processing time, the same. How many days? One, two, three, four, five, six, five days, integration and processing. That's good. Yeah. And then... Um, Pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the new blueprint for your life. So this negative has been removed and the positive is the new blueprint. Mm -hmm. And you can even, um, in situations where you need to make choices, it's good to remind yourself of this. Mm -hmm. I know how to care for myself with love and even ask yourself, is this how I care for myself with love? A or B? Yeah. Yeah. It it makes total sense because mm. I now I can speak in the past. You know, I used to be really hard on myself mm. internally. Mm. Actually, with with my work with tantra, this has a lot softened and healing mm. trauma. This has softened, mm. but I really still used to push myself like. To, to care for myself, but in a really hard 
Mm. Where like I have to do it, I should do it, and if I don't do it, then I'm bad, you know? Yeah. 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 Terrible. Oh, so then the with love <laughs> yeah. makes so much sense. Yeah. Because you've been pushing self-care, and now you're more maybe letting it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feels very emotional when I say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was another question where it's gone now. Maybe it was not so important. Mm. Ah, yeah. With that, how does that? This may be interesting for the people ah. watching. How and for me also, yeah. how does it work? Why do you stroke? Because I know we did one session. I was doing it myself here, mm. and this for me makes sense because you connect the frontal cortex mm. with the reptile brain. Mm. And what what is the what does the yes. stroking on the back do? Yes. So, um, you're familiar with the Chinese acupuncture meridians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the main meridian runs along the, the middle of the body. Mm -hmm. And um, it's connected to all the meridians in the body. Mm -hmm. And these negative energies that we're moving, they're somewhere in the body and they're touching one or more meridians. Uh, when we name it, it comes to the surface and it's touching one or more meridian. And with the intention to release it, uh, when we're stroking along the main meridian, either here or you can do it here. Mm -hmm. You can touch or you can um, stroke in the air like this. Um, doesn't matter, uh, but it's it's because of the main meridian. You can also do it here. You can actually do it over your hand like this. I sometimes do it because my shoulder hurts sometimes, and then I don't want to be above my head. So then I do this mm -hmm. or in front of my heart. So it's because uh, it's along the main meridian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Coach Greta. I am back with Paula about a month after our Radiant Living Retreat and after doing um, three sessions in addition to the work we did as a group in the retreat. We did three private sessions for Paula. And I want to do a check-in to see how she's doing now that it's been a while and the changes have had some time to land in her. And um, let's see how Paula is doing. Hi, Paula. Hi, Greta. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. How are you? I am great. Thank you. Yeah. So Thank you. <laughs> we did... Uh, three belief concessions and two of the big things we worked on was manifesting with ease so being more deliberate and manifesting faster what you actually want and also speaking in front of people kind of a stage fright kind of thing I was wondering if anything has changed for you in the last month after the work that we did yes it has so first I would like to say that um, probably due to a traumatic experience in my childhood when I was a teenager speaking in public um, and a traumatic childhood also I've, I've had a long a lifelong fear um, of public speaking speaking in front of people and an incredible insecurity also of um, about my self-worth, basically. And uh, even though I was able to become a teacher and speak in front of people, there, there always had been a, like an incredible stress and tension within me when I was speaking to a point that uh, people told me like, you're another person when you're demonstrating actually the massages uh, and when you speak, you're like, yeah, you're a different person. And I knew why, and it was true. And now I was teaching a retreat and I found myself a completely different, being a completely different teacher. Like internally, I must say, I never felt so chilled out while I was talking. And I can, even now that I'm speaking, I can hear it in my voice. Like my voice is really relaxed. You know, when you're traumatized, you, you tend to have like speak with a very high voice and because everything is so tense here because of the fear. 
you know, and now I'm like really, yeah, relaxed when I'm speaking. And um, I had a much, much different um, teaching experience. How was it different? Well, the one thing is that I said, like, I don't have this inner tension anymore when I'm speaking. I'm really relaxed. I don't need to, like, pretend uh, to be anyone else anymore. It comes really, it's it's authentic, you know, without this tension. And because of this absence of stress, I can connect much better with my students, with my clients. I would say I've come back more to myself and to my heart. And uh, from there, I can live and act now. Yeah, And it, it's not only the session that we did about the public speaking to take that fear off, but especially the last session that we did in the Radiant Living Retreat, where there was a significant, significant um, limiting self-belief of I hate myself. And this, yeah, uh, um, when this came up in the session, um, I was almost embarrassed and ashamed of it, you know, to be like a Tantra teacher, hating myself. Yeah, it doesn't go well together. Mm -hmm. And uh, it feels like weight is taking off my shoulders. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this. It's so rewarding for me as a practitioner to get these updates because it really confirms that what I'm doing, the gift that I'm sharing with the world has value and has an impact. So yes. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, for these sessions. <laughs> yeah. And that session you're referring to was not one of the recorded ones. It was a, the last session that you and I did in the end of the retreat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of things came up and it's so interesting that your, this negative belief comes up and you're even judging yourself for that because I should be like this because I am that. And yeah. really having that belief of, I hate myself is a really powerful one to let go of because it opens the door for so much. It is. Yeah, when you, it is impossible to accept the love of others and to, to really enjoy the love that surrounds us and the beauty of nature if you don't love yourself. It's, it always seems to be false. And uh, yeah, it, it's much easier like this <laughs> now. Yeah. That's so true. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to say before we go? Um, I would like to continue to work with you. Thank <laughs> okay. you. Let's do it. Yeah. So, um, okay. Yes, Thank and you. maybe um, that... You know, we are so used to being in that limited state and the mind is very strong, telling us all kinds of things. And then after the sessions, like I didn't feel like an immediate shift or so. I actually in daily life, I didn't notice. So I was like positively surprised about myself. So thank you very much for my heart. My pleasure. I, if I may, I would also like to add that I find it really amazing that you see this change in a period of time where you've had a lot of extra stress. So being in a state where there's more going on than usual and there's some extra stress and then still seeing that change that you saw with that calm, that new confidence, um, that new way of being when you were teaching, which is way less stress, way more calm, more clarity. And um, I wanted to ask you if you compare 
that last retreat that you hosted, that last course with the previous one, would you say that you enjoyed yourself more in the last one than the previous one? It was the first time actually that I enjoyed myself <laughs> really. And uh, before it was always like so stressful that I, that I wasn't able to full, to yeah enjoy myself. I was like really internally also criticizing myself and and I, I was exhausted always and staying away actually from the groups because of that. And now I was so open and I could, yeah, I could really be also with with the people that came to the retreat and I'm just a new me. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. I, en I enjoyed every minute, I must say, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's amazing. That's an amazing result. Yeah, an amazing change after so many years. So if you want to try out the belief code or emotion code, body code, psyche for yourself to see what these modalities can do for you, then feel free to schedule a free strategy call with me. Or if you feel ready to try out the belief code, go ahead and schedule a belief code session. And I will put all the information, all the links in the description below. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.